So have you ever gotten that truck and thought that it needed an extra charge? Well, here's the deal. We've ran across this company called Via here at the North American International Auto Show. And I'm here with Craig to talk about how this is apparently the iPhone of your next vehicle. Let's talk about that for a second, Craig. So I was wandering around seeing all this stuff and it's like, that looks like a GM truck, but it doesn't quite look like a GM truck under the hood. So why don't you tell me a little bit more about that? Uh, this is an extended range electric truck. Okay. Uh, it's an electric drive system with a range extender. So this vehicle always drives the wheels electrically. Okay. And then the combustion engine is only there after you've driven it 40 miles to charge the batteries after you've driven those initial 40 miles. So it's an electric vehicle with an range extender. Not only is it that, but as you introduce the idea of an iPhone, this is a tool. This is a work tool. Not only can it provide you transportation at mileage rates, oftentimes in excess of 100 miles per gallon, but this is a vehicle that you can pull into a job site. You can plug in welders, you can plug in uh, power saws, you can plug in power tools to this vehicle and run an entire job site. If your power goes out at your home, you can pull into your home, plug in and power your entire home. In fact, it has the capacity not only to power your home, but two or three of your neighbors at the same time. So this is no longer just transportation. This is truly a transportation tool. Really, because that's because so many people they think of electric, they think of the electric, you know, just electric cars in general, and they think of little tiny zippers that you know run about that maybe fit better in Europe or somewhere like this. This is a truck. So um, when, when somebody's looking at this, you know, one of the things that I, I was looking through your notes is that uh, this is actually built right here in the Metro Detroit region? Yes, these vehicles are built for us by Roush. Okay. Uh, they'll be uh, delivering the first 2,700 units will be coming out in 2012. Uh, most of these units are going to fleet customers, uh, utility fleets, government fleets, uh, uh, telecom fleets, uh, people who actually use vehicles as a tool. You mentioned the small vehicles that are around in the electric yes. space right now, and, and we love those, we appreciate those, but the, okay. the fact of the matter is, the bulk of the emissions in this country are created in trucks, vans, and SUVs. Uh, they're also a reality of a soccer mom cannot take a soccer team to a game in a Fiat 500. So they have to have really the space. Like a practical solution. This is the practical American solution. Build in America. That, that's really, really interesting. So how does somebody get a hold of this? Because I've never seen a Via dealership driving around yet. So how does somebody get a hold of one of these things? Well, we're initially, as I said, rolling these out to fleets. Okay. So we're dealing directly with fleets. Via has a fleet sales team. We deal with the fleets. Uh, the Most of the 2012 and a lot of the 13 uh, capacity is sold. Okay. Uh, will be, so these are will already be, off the floor. Like, this isn't just a, a dream. I, I these, there's money yeah. transacted here. That's correct. And you can actually go downstairs and drive one of these vehicles in the ride and drive today. So, uh, Excellent. Uh, it's, it's an exciting time. We're, uh, we're real pleased with it. We're proud of the vehicle vehicle that we've designed and built here. Uh, we believe that there is nothing on the planet like it. Right now, the General Services Administration, which is the GSA that sells all the vehicles to the government, uh, has selected us as the vehicle of this category to be in uh, the fleets for next year in 2013. So uh, this, is, again, is not just a pickup truck, even though it is a spectacular pickup truck. You, you get in it, you drive it, it's quiet. Uh, it's obviously very efficient on use of energy. Uh, this vehicle does get in excess of 100 miles per gallon for an average consumer that drives a vehicle an average 40, 45 miles now, per day. Now, and let's talk about what gas mileage on a truck normally is, because it's usually lower than your car mileage. You've got 100 miles a gallon versus what does a normal truck do? Like? Uh, trucks, trucks are usually rated between 13 and 16 miles per gallon. So uh, you're talking five times easily. Oh yes, yes, yeah. This is a this is a vehicle that literally will save a consumer money the day he buys one of these. Will save them money from driving a regular gas combustion engine. Not only on the purchase, on the combined use of purchasing it and the fuel. So so it's a it's a vehicle that literally you do not have to ask the question. You know how long will it take this to pay back? The fact is 
the first time you drive this vehicle, it's saving you money in both cost of vehicle and uh, uh, fuel combined. Those two things combined. It's a total cost of ownership is less than a standard vehicle. So you're going to fleets right now. To wrap this up then, are there any plans to bring it to the consumer market? Yes, we plan to bring this to the consumer market in 2014. Okay. Uh, that's when we'll be uh, establishing the dealer networks that we'll be using. Uh, we're working on those relationships at this time, and so uh, we're excited to do that. Uh, this will be a great consumer tool. I think of the events that have happened here in, on the East Coast just in this last six months where we've had uh, numerous large power outings for, for uh, a long range of time for people. People in homes without power for days and days. This vehicle was capable, if you own this vehicle, of supporting your family, your home, and frankly a couple of your neighbors for those for those down days. That's why I call this really not just transportation, this is a transportation tool. It goes far beyond normal transportation. Excellent. Well, Craig Higginson, thank you so much for your time. Thank Appreciate you very it. much. This is Detroit Unspun from the floor of the North American International Auto Show.